Plecos and power feed them to make sure that they're eating and strong for shipping. Look at our are like so cute, right? Yeah. So the last three, let's go ahead, put them in. Oh, that guy almost went all the way to the back. Let's put the lid on it, just in case they want to try to fly away. It's a lot of plecos. <laughs> so what do we have? All right, so we got the green phantom, the blue panaki, the galaxy, the Angelicas and the little zebras. I think tiger stripe too. Yeah, you know the rest. And we got one tiger shovel nose. I think that's the only one he was able to get. And we have four of these really good size Manito buzz. They're also known as Capo Petrum. Some people sell them as Piraibas, but these are not real Piraibas. If you're looking for real Piraibas, we do have them as well, but they're a lot bigger. All right, so All right. let's go ahead and put them away. Uh, we like to keep all the plecos together if they're around the same size, which is this tank right here where we put the arowanas. So what we do, since it's a lot of them, we just keep up with the water change. Yeah, but that's going to be a lot of plecos and a lot of arowanas. These are little though. Alright, well let's put some in here and then I'll split it up these see what I'm afraid of and guys this is for you to know as well some of these catfish if you try to net them that's it you're done so best case scenario is to just scoop them up it's not that hard and you save their fins really pretty guys big eaters though See how cute they are? They get big too. They won't get as big as the Spira Eva, but they will get pretty big as well. It's amazing how long the whiskers is though. Look at that, look at that. Try to film that. See it? Look at this guy. All of them, both of, all four of them have perfect whiskers. These guys are super cute. The water is a little cloudy right now, but we're gonna do a water change right now. Get everybody acclimated and adjusted. It's like a pile of plecos. They like to be on top of each other, kind of getting shelter in one another. And obviously the wood that we have here too. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so we'll get these guys nice and acclimated. Look at the size of this Timesis. Hope it doesn't jump out. Oh, let me put him in. I don't even know if this is the biggest one. It's pretty big, right? Yeah, I mean, they're all close in size, but that's definitely the biggest one. I need to get one at a time so we don't mess them up. Came in in perfect condition. Like I said, I'm very, very happy with the shipment because it's not every day. Whoa. There's two of them, two of them. Ah! And a silver dollar. Poor silver dollar. All right. You can tell these are wild caught because they're going nuts. Yeah, they're a good size. As they get bigger, you see it better. And I asked him to pick out the nicest ones for us, too. Um, 
I'll do the silver dollars later. Let's go ahead and find a house for these guys. I also want to put them in a larger tank, but I got to watch out where I put them because they will eat their tank mates. Yeah, I think I'm going to separate them right here. It's a lot of current. Um, plenty of space for now, and then I can find a bigger tank. You know, this way we can keep a close eye on them, make sure they're being fed well. But this is going to be really nice. Let me see how many there is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. All right, now he's going to settle, settle down a little bit. This is a beast right here. Look at this fish. You see it? Yeah. Really pretty. Heavy too. Well, they're going in the corner. So we got two in there. Let's put this other guy here because it's pretty big. So you see some of them, the stomach is a little sunk in. Yeah, I just noticed it. It's because they got to stop feeding. They probably haven't fed these guys for like a week uh, prior to shipping to make sure that they don't poop in their bag and kill themselves. So now when we put food in there, they're going to go nuts. And that's what I'm going to do. Every time I get a shipment, I always, when we leave, I come back at night and I feed them because I know they're very hungry. But right now, they're so stressed out, we move from one tank to another tank to another tank. They're probably not, not even knowing what's going on. They won't eat. That is a pretty fish. Some of them, the markings are like ridiculous. Yeah. See, I like with shipment when the smallest to mince is like eight, nine inches. <laughs> Little guy here. All right, so the peacocks are in. Let's go ahead and close these lids and shut the light off and let them just relax a little bit. Sorry. Red tail barracudas, as you can see, their shape. They're like, they like current, okay? So we're gonna find a tank that has a lot of current for them so they can feel comfortable at their new home. This tank right here, I like the way it's designed because it does have a lot of current. So this is good for like endotarpins, barracudas. Uh, you gotta move. So we're gonna move this guy to Another tank, yeah. He's one of the only ones that didn't sell. Where are we gonna put him? Up top. Put him up top. I need a ladder, man. Not that tall. I'm only four and a half. That's you. Oh, playing games, huh? Golden base flower horn. He's beautiful, but that's a prettier one out there. Okay, so these guys are very finicky. I like I want to try to get one at a time. We don't mess them up. Sometimes it's a little more work, but it's better in the long run. They're good swimmers as well, so after they're acclimated and good to go. I want to make sure they're in a big tank that they can swim a lot. All right, beautiful. Okay, so these guys are called Zebrinas. In my opinion, the prettiest pikes in the whole world. And they come right from Colombia. Once they acclimate, their colors on their tail, their whole body, 
They're really pretty. They got yellow, green, red. Um, these two were going to a friend of mine. He already got them. I'm trying to get another shipment of uh, Sabrina's next week. So if you guys are interested, let me know. And I should have four to six more coming in. All right, let's go ahead and put them away. Cody, come pick them up. Calls are starting to come out already. Yeah, I don't want to turn the light back on. Which one was your favorite, babe? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna tell you this. This shipment was uh, very good. I'm very happy with the quality and the size of these animals. Um, like I said, it's a lot easier for us to get a hundred little tamensus in a in a in a box and pay for that shipping and grow them out and sell. But I want to, you know, try to get them a different sizes. These guys came out really good. Um, we'll have them on the website probably on Monday or Tuesday. I just want to make sure that they're good, healthy fish. They look good. The iguanas came in good. The black hair. Where did you put the black iguanas? Over here. Oh yeah, I forgot. They're already all swimming with the silvers. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so now we just got to clean up, put everything away, take pictures, put it on the website for you guys, and that's it. Um, we should have more shipments coming in, hopefully with the coronavirus, you know, they'll still come through because our uh, Suriname shipment got delayed because of that. If you didn't see the promo code video, that's the video right here, you got the chance until Sunday, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100% off. Go watch it. I'll see you next time. Beautiful fish. Um, I have a feeling that. Look at the mouth. I know. I want to show the mouth. Hold on. I have a feeling that um, it was the bag. He got caught on the bag, on the corner of the bag. Can you see it? Yeah. Big old teeth. Is why it's so cloudy? It's forcing on your fingers. Just. We need to buy lens for this for this camera. Look at that. What a predator. And they get to a decent size too. Um, like I said, these guys love current. They, they'll eat anything. We'll feed them shrimp, tilapia, uh, frozen fish. But these are gonna this guy's gonna turn out to, for bug food. At least there's only one fish out of all two, three hundred that we came in. So that's not bad at all. I was hoping for none though. That would be the first. We're doing a pretty good job over here. Um, I wonder if they eat the maggots too. What do you think? So close. I know. That was your idea. Let's go home.